the sarin too. Perfect. Now, I am no coward, but there is a strange sound that wafts from the hills at night. Small concern given everything we are facing, right? Oh, the children disagree, though. Whenever I return to Home Tree, they say, You always know what is happening, Lei Tao. Why can you not tell us what that sound is? Their curiosity is so charming. And tiresome. What do you think it is? Likely someone with too much free time on their hands. The children think it may be the sky people in the hills nearby. But Nil Nyan, he forbids us from looking into it. The lecture he gave us on danger was so stern and lengthy, my yawns could have shaken home tree loose from its soil. Danger doesn't sound like something that would stop you. Ninyan lives a tedious life. He would not recognize actual danger if it walked right up to him and ate his dinner. He is an elder, though. When an elder speaks, we obey, for better or worse. So, if I tell the children what I find, I am also telling them I have gone against an elder's wishes. But you, child, are not a Ranahe, which means you can help me get the children off my back as much as I love their endless pestering. Secret treasures the night may hold. RDA gear. Lake Tao was right. That sound. A quick fix might stop it. They said that there was a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. <laughs> More like a pot of crap. Nothing here but danger and risk of death. And then there's that creepy noise I heard last night. It doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard. I'd be more scared if I wasn't so pissed off about losing sleep. The second I see an opening, I'm hightailing it out of here. Such intricate... The sound was caused by a Sky People device. Looks like they dropped it. No sky people around. Don't worry. <laughs> well, well. One less sky people contraption is a good thing. I will let the children know. Keep that metal stick out of my face. 